action. Hello everyone and welcome to With Every Heartbeat of Life. Hello. How you doing? Hi. My name is Akeisha Mitchell and I'll be y'all teacher for today for this session. And this session is one hour long. We have compressed it into one hour because people would complain about it being too long and we was not catching any, everyone's attention. So, in order to have an honest meeting today, um, here are a few of the rules. Feel free to ask questions, share your personal experiences. This will make the project mean more to us than everyone. Try to stay on the subject. Agree to keep group, group business in the group. Agree not to judge others. If you have, if you need to take a phone call, please leave the room. Try to agree to come to all the sessions. And do you have any rules you would like to add? No, be on time. Okay, be on time. That's a good one. One last thing before we get started is to know all the attendance. So let's go around the room, tell our name, and what we want to learn from this class. <coughs> start with you, Mary. Me? Mm -hmm. If I do G first, mm -hmm. I, would, I would like to know about the case. Yes. Um, and we get more people in here, you know, us for a time. We need to go around. Can you speak up a little bit? What? Can you speak up a little bit? Well, we need to go up now and knock on doors and ask people, can they come to class? Well, we only have one more session left. That's tomorrow. I know. Uh -huh. so. And you, ma'am? Mm -hmm. My name is Dazzy, and I just want to be able to stop smoking. And my stop name is Akeisha Mitchell. Help you. And my name is Akeisha Mitchell again. Um, I'm your teacher for today, and my goal is to stop smoking, too. All right. During the last session, we talked about how to make African, traditional African-American dishes in a heart-healthy heart way. What is heart-healthy about the traditional African-American diet? A bunch of vegetables, fruits, and fruits that are native to our ancestors, and like cooking things with herbs and spices instead of salt. Okay. The traditional African-American diet provides a variety of foods that are lower in fat and sodium, such as bread, peas, greens, rice, vegetables, fruits, poultry, fish, and milk products. What are some, what are some foods that we should eat less often? Fried chicken. Fried chicken, fried, chicken, fried pork chop, fried okra, fried anything. Anything fried, try to eat less of it. Anything um, salty, try to eat less of it or take the salt out. Um, sweet stuff. Sweet or oh, sodas, tea, dark soda with dark sodas and tea. Try to replace it with some water or some flavored water. Um, I'm the negative. Nice food juice. A hundred percent. I know it. I know it. I do know it. We should limit foods that are high in saturated fats, trans fats, sodium, sugars, and calories, including high-fat foods such as fried fish, chicken, fatty meats, and high-fat cheeses. High-fat cheeses, yes. Yeah. yeah, you know you can be a shake baby. Mm -hmm. It's fat. Mm -hmm. yeah. still um, greasy and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll Salted food? Yeah, mm -hmm. you can bake it in the oven. Salty foods such as potato chips and curried meats, half fat and half sugar foods such as pastries, pies, honey buns, cookies, and chocolate. Sugary foods such as candies and soft drinks too. How can how can the heart healthy eating plan be used to choose foods that are health heart healthy? Okay. How can heart healthy foods? <laughs> Me, I'm, I'm in space right now. That's what I'm like, Me too. I'm to read, but I'm like, did she just ask a question? How can the heart healthy eating plan be used to choose foods that are heart healthy? How can I plan? Mm-hmm. Um, 
Use the heart health to eat fat and choose foods that are low saturated fats, trans fats, cholesterol, sodium, and sugar from each of the fat food groups. The eating plan also shows the number of servings that you, that you need for each group every day. Why is it helpful to know how much to, you need to eat from each group every day? Because you don't want to go over, like if you want, uh, like with uh, grains, you want to eat a certain amount of servings of grains a day. Mm -hmm. And if you go over the starch, you can actually get mm -hmm. fat. It's all and, When you know the amount of food you need to eat every day, it can help you get the right amount of calories you need and plus also lose weight. Today we will learn some ways to save time and make meal preparation easier. With the amount of things we have all day to do, it can become very difficult to eat in a heart healthy way. Many times people, that f people find that they are too tired to make the types of meals they would prefer to eat as a family. Busy people may think they do not have time to eat heart healthy. These people may skip breakfast and lunch and eat one big meal in the evening. Eat out several times a week, buy boxed, instant, or already prepared meals, or buy food from vending machines while at work. It may help us to plan weekly meals based on our family schedule, save money and time by making only one trip to the store, make and use a shopping list, and teach your family how to shop for groceries. What do you eat when you do not have time to cook? Some noodles. Mm -hmm. A sandwich. Hot dogs. Yeah. Or a sausage. Mm -hmm. um, I know I grabbed like three bags of chips. Yeah. Don't supposed to. I grabbed about three bags of chips because of soda. Yeah. I eat some oh. nails. Yep. Eating on the run, run eating on the run often means that we are eating foods that are higher in fat, sodium, and calories. For example, we eat snacks and candies from vending machines or high fat hot dogs and french fries from fast food restaurants. People often eat these foods because they are easy to buy and quick to prepare. When people are in a hurry, they do not often think about what kinds of foods that, that are heart healthy. They may also eat bigger portions of foods that are higher in fats and calories when there is no time to prepare for health when there is no time to prepare healthy side dishes such as salads and vegetables or rice. On page 299, we will go over tips for a busy family. Daddy, would you like to start reading? Plan your meal. Plan weekly meals based on your family's schedule. Use a shopping list. Save money and time by making only one trip to the store. Make and use a shopping list. Keep going. If you want to. Share meals preparation tasks. Teach your family how to shop for groceries. Include children and other members of your family in preparing meals and cleaning up. Clean as you clean up as you cook, you will have less to clean up after you finish cooking. Share cooking duties with other family members or neighbors. For example, your family can cook enough food to share with another family. Cook in advance. Prepare some foods in advance, such as spaghetti sauces. Use these foods for quick meals. You can add chicken or turkey to the sauce and serve it over spaghetti or rice. Prepare parts of a meal the night before, for example, Marinate chicken in the refrigerator overnight. Pack your lunch the night before. Cut and wash vegetables and make enough salads for two days. Do not add a dressing until serving time. Cook two or three dishes on your day off and freeze them and freeze some of them. Use the frozen dishes on a day when you do not have time to cook. Prepare for recipes the night before by cutting and trimming meats. Prepare meals in a slow cooker. Cook simple. Cook simply. Steam vegetables and serve them without sauces. Use frozen vegetables without sauces. Broil, grill, bake, or roast meats. Make one pot, one, make one pot meals such as stews and casseroles. Use frozen chopped vegetables such as carrots, peas, and broccoli. Use a microwave for cooking or defrosting. 
Learn simple recipes that can be made in less than 30 minutes. Use herbs and spices. Chop fresh herbs and place in ice cube trays. Fill the trays with fill the trays with water and freeze. Store the frozen cubes in plastic bags. Use when you need when you need fresh herbs. Grow oregano, basil, and thyme on the window sill on a sunny window sill. Keep dry herbs on hand. One tablespoon of dry herbs equals three teaspoons of fresh herbs. Keep quick snacks on hand. Try these healthy snacks: fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grain, ready to eat, dry cereal. Fat-free and low-fat yogurts, fat-free and low-fat cheese, or whole grain breads. What are some things? What are some things you all do to eat better when you do not have a lot of time to cook? What did y'all do? Oh, okay. What are some things that you all do to eat better when you do not have a lot of time to cook? Yeah, eat, eat, eat something left though. But is it healthy warm, though? Warm it up in the microwave to eat that. Yeah, but is it healthy first though? Like the food that you cook, the leftovers yeah. are healthy. Yeah. Okay. I just keep some crackers on here, like the non unsalted crackers or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but if you if you hungry in in the attic, do something. Mm-hmm. We gotta make sure it's healthy though. Yeah. yeah. You can prepare foods in advance, like sauce. That you can add chicken or turkey to, prepare um, part of the meal the night before, pack your lunch the night before you go to work, or cook two meals on your day off and freeze them. If you can turn to page 300, it's called Jill's Dilemma, a real life story. We can go discuss ways that Jill can make sure her family eats in a heart healthy way and write down their answers. Jill, Jill's dilemma, a real life story. Jill is a friend of the Ferris family, Fer, the <laughs> Harris family. She has two daughters, Tamika, age three, and Sandra, age 10 months. She is also raising her two nephews, eight-year-old Davin and 10-year-old Jamar. Jill's aunt, Miss Connie, watches the younger children from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. while Jill works part-time and goes to a job training program. Jill re- receives food assessment monthly and needs to watch her buzz- budget. I was messing these words up. <laughs> After picking up her kids, <coughs> oh, yeah. OT, the um, screen went black. I didn't see that. After picking up the kids, Jill doesn't feel like making dinner that requires a lot of preparation and cooking time. She usually feeds the kids prepared noodles, mix, noodle mixes, or spaghetti from a can. Sometimes she picks up fast food, such as fried chicken or hamburger. Jill has to ride the bus to shop at a supermarket with a large selection of food. It is hard to carry the heavy bags of groceries home from the bus stop. She often buys her groceries from neighborhood stores that are more costly and carry few healthier foods. What can Jill do to make sure her family eats heart healthy, in a heart healthy way? Write down some ideas to ha- try to help Jill. First of all, she write a bus. Well, I can go ahead and get, deal with this because it's like I write a bus myself. I wrote a three. <laughs> <laughs> Jill can help one of her nephews if it's not a school day or if he's home or sick or something, but not sick, but if he's home or something. Take one of her nephews with her to help her take the bags from the bus to home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and don't buy no more stuff from the neighborhood store. Coupons. Yeah. Buy only what she needs. Make sure she has a shopping list. Oh, she can prepare her meals the night before or whenever she get off work. It doesn't seem that there is a man living with her. Well, 
she, she got somebody she watching the kids. She got somebody watching the kids. So she and so, give them something to prepare. Virginia, you're getting off subject then. Vincent, stay trying to stay on subject. We is on the subject. Well, she can ask her aunt, Miss Connie, to make a take her to the super um to the supermarket. Or she left that one time. Or she can leave. She can get the stuff and leave it with her so she can prepare for. I mean, you know, Miss Connie, yeah. Oh, yeah, or leave the kids with Miss Connie and cook the food and dig them. Yeah, yeah. she, Miss Connie, can watch the kids. Yeah. But yeah. she only watch the two of the youngest one. Oh, man. <laughs> I would tell my boy, you get nothing done. I think because the nephew was in school at that time from 8 to 5. Well, I, I that's Miss Connie. Yeah, that's Miss Connie. These are things you can do to eat healthy eat when eating at a restaurant. It is important to know that many fast foods can be higher in saturated fat, sodium, cal- and calories, which could lead to problems with weight gain, high blood pressure, and cholesterol. Right here in Suffolk, restaurants working with healthy people, working with healthy people, healthy Suffolk partnership have agreed to label healthy food options on their menu with a green apple icon. Like Tokyo Grill does it. And there's a there's about eight of them. That if you look at their menu with like a green apple that are at the heart healthy heart and food stuff. So. I don't know that. Me either. It's new. <laughs> now turn to page 301. Tips for eating out the heart healthy way. You don't have to give up eating fast food to eat right. Here are some tips on how to make heart-healthy choices at fast food restaurants. When you order your sandwiches, order your sandwiches without mayonnaise, tartar sauce, or special sauces. Or try mustard or low-fat mayonnaise. Ask for vegetables to be added to your sandwich, so like the tomato and your lettuce. Mm-hmm. Order small, plain hamburgers instead of deluxe sandwiches. Order sandwiches made with lean roast beef or turkey, Chicken salad and tuna salad made with regular mayonnaise are high in fat. Choose grilled chicken sandwiches instead of breaded chicken sandwiches. For your main dishes, choose rotisserie style chicken rather than fried chicken. Always remove the skin. Order pizza with vegetable toppings such as peppers, mushrooms, or onions. Ask for half the usual amount of cheese. Choose grilled, steamed, or baked fish instead of deep fried fish. Leave off butter, gravy, and sauces. Your side dishes, you want to share a small amount of french fries instead of eating a large order by yourself. Ask that no salt be added to your serving. Order a baked potato instead of fried. Try salsa or vegetables as a potato topping. Ask that high fat toppings be served on the side so you can use fewer of them. So ask for your cheese and your bacon bits and stuff. If you really have to have them, ask them to be on the side so you can put just a little bit on there. Use low calorie, low fat salad dressing on salad. Bring your own if the restaurant does not offer a low-fat salad dressing. You can buy packets at some stores. Add that dressing be served on the side and use less. Order a green vegetable or salad instead of two or more starches such as potatoes, rice, pasta, bread, or corn. Ask for low-fat cheese and low-fat sour cream. For your beverages, you want to choose water, 100% fruit juice, because if you choose regular fruit juice, it's going to be high in like sugar processed sugar and that's not what you want. Unsweetened iced tea or fat-free, low-fat, 1% milk rather than a soft drink or a milkshake. But if you really want to have a soft drink, order a small one. And for your desserts, uh, buy the smallest size fat-free frozen yogurt, low-fat ice cream or sherbet instead of cakes or pies. Sherbet is good too. It is. It is. I think we stopped eating that when we were young with the sherbet ice cream. For real, that is good. Like right. 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 yeah. I like that. Yeah. The shirt, I, like, I think it was like a red color. Like a, it's like it's like raspberry. Oh my god! Yeah. Does <laughs> anybody have any other suggestions to eat heart health, eat healthy when eating out in a restaurant? <coughs> That's about it. It had nailed it. It is good to try to limit the. It is good to try to limit the number of times you go to all you can eat buffets. Although, although it seems like a money saving choice, many times you would be tempted to overeat to get the most out of your money. Now, 
Now we will talk about how you can save your money on your food bill. Here are some issues that people face to eat healthy on a budget. Turn to page 302. And on page 303, we also have gave you a monthly um, food budget. So you, if you want to use that as a, if you want to store before you leave to go, you can always use this and it'll help you save money too. You want me to read 302? Oh, I can do what you want to. Jill, on page 302, Jill needs to plan how much, how much money she can spend on food each month to feed their family of five. Will Jill follow Jill's step and she makes her monthly food budget. Step one, Jill figures out how much she can spend on food each month. Jill receives $255 in food stamp each month. She also can put $145 aside each month for food from her part-time job earnings. In total, Jill can spend $400 each month for food. For example, 255 plus 145 equals $400 a month. Jill writes down, step two, Jill writes down what she, what she spends on food and, and keeps all her receipts. Jill writes down how much she spends at the grocery store and at restaurants in her food money log. She keeps the log clipped to an envelope where she keeps all her receipts. Step three, Jill checks her expenses each week to make sure she sticks to her monthly food budget. Jill adds up her food expenses each week. Then she adds up what she has spent during the month. So far, it, compare, it compares the amount with her total monthly but food budget. Now that you know how Jill plans her monthly food budget, let's plan your monthly food budget. First determine, first determine your food budget for the month. Second, list the cost of each item in the week one column, add the column, add the cost together, and put the total on the weekly totals on the weekly total spent line. Second, I want to say second twice. Put your food hold on. Put your monthly food budget on a monthly budget line and subtract the amount spent for week one to get your remaining monthly your monthly budget. Third, copy the remaining amount to from week one to week two, remaining monthly budget line. Fourth, repeat the steps. So I layer that what you do it is like on this page. So she start with her four hundred and she spends like thirty dollars on like meat, forty dollars on vegetables, toiletries and stuff like that. So she spends like eighty five dollars. Then her total her weekly total spent will go on the weekly total spent out uh, would be 85. So her monthly is 400 minus the 85, and that gives her her remaining of 320. And that's what you bring up to the next time. Oh, and then okay. that's what you know, for every week. You know, someone got five weeks. Yeah. <laughs> like this one and next Some more ways to save money on your food budget are back from farmers market, from farmers markets, and then um, look like um, stuff we got farmers market out there about um, the hills mm -hmm. street from Hilton. That's on Saturdays from nine, nine to one. Do they still do the one back train station? Well, oh, they moved it. That's uh, why. That's okay. why Uh, eat what's in season and try not to do a lot of shopping at local corner stores. Their prices are usually higher. And if you look on page 305. Oh, you can look on page 304. Oh, sorry, I skipped that. Sorry about that. Money saving tips. You can save money on groceries by following these simple suggestions. Before you go to the store, plan your weekly bills. Your family can help you plan the menu. When shopping, well, make a shopping list based on your meal plan. Check the food sale ads. Use coupons. 
Check the Sunday newspaper and click coupons for foods you normally buy or need. Ask your children or other family members to help you. Remember, coupons do not save you money if you buy products that you don't need. Always compare the price of the item with the coupon price of the item with the coupon with the price of the other items on the shelf. So that's like if you see some toothpaste and it's like three dollars more and you only save a dollar on the coupon, you might as well just buy the generic one. Mm -hmm. uh, make fresh fruits at home instead of using prepared items such as frozen entrees, bakery cakes, or salads. Choosing a store. You can shop at the store that has the lowest prices for the items you, you need. That may be a different store every week. Remember that convenience stores have higher prices and less varieties than supermarkets. At the store, buy what is on your list. You are most likely to buy too much or buy items that you don't need when you do not use a list. Convenience can cost more. Some examples include canned beans, boneless chicken breasts, and pre-cut vegetables. Buy fruits and vegetables that are in season. Buy only the amount of food your family can use, even if a larger size costs less. Shop alone when possible. Family members and friends may try to get you to buy items that you do not need. Do not shop when you are hungry. Watch for errors at the cash register. Sometimes sell items do not ring up on sale, and some stores give customers free items if they are charged the wrong amount. Here's Teeter. Here's Teeter does it. Um, look for cheaper store brands of products. They usually are just as nutritious and as more expensive name brands. Some more ways to save money on food budgets are back on farmers markets. And um like I was just saying information on the stuff farmers markets. Eat what's in season, try not try not to do a lot of shopping at local corner stores. Their prices are usually higher. Now if you look on page two, I mean three oh five is a shopping list. We don't have to go through the whole thing. It's just um when you do make your shopping list, it might be easier to go by section of stuff. So this has produce, then it has your cereal, then it has your milk products, your meats, your baking items, your canned fruits, vegetables, beans, and soups, your fats and oils, frozen, and then other. So just kind of how you lay out the shopping list. Some advertisers will try to lure you to buy their product by using your emotions towards your family family's well-being, health improvement, and use of sex appeal, humor, appearance, and famous people. When you buy na nationally advertised products, you are paying for those advertisements versus if you bought the same or similar item that is in the, that's the, it's the store brand. Popular, mm, popular advertising things usually focus on family, health, sex appeal, humor, appearance, and famous people. Family. Advertisers try to get you to use their product based on your love for your family. This works well with African Americans because family plays the family plays an important role in their lives. Advertising with family things often target African American women because of their role as a family caregiver. Health. Some advertisements focus on positive health effects of using certain products. This works because people care about their health. Sex appeal. Sex appeal sales products. And I'm going to stop right here. Like the um, hardest commercials. <laughs> and that lady laying on that car, she got a big bird. She do you know that one? And she biting like this. It hurts. <laughs> and she biting like that and it's dripping on her shirt. Right. Like, that's like, come Do on. All the extra. And they were like, well, because we wouldn't have been going to see the girl in the kitty. Yeah. Yeah. And Hardy's. And Hardy's. Many people want to believe that they also will be beautiful and sexy if they use these advertised products. Say, like, you eat this burger, and you know you're not going to be no beautiful and sexy when you eat this burger because you can't wait. And you, your face going to break out for all the oil effects. And they don't even eat the burger. They, they bite it and spit it out. And then, like, they'll use it with, uh, you know, like, shampoo oh, and stuff. Yeah. Where they're like this, yeah. and letting their hair all over the place, knowing dang well my hair does not participate <laughs> like her hair participates. And then, I ain't trying to go to water on my floor either. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's too much. Humor. A funny advertisement often helps people remind, uh, remember a product. Like, um, jingles and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Like, the double McDonald's mm -hmm. commercial and stuff like that. 
um, appearance, appearance. Food advertisers show foods that may look better than the real thing. This makes people want to try a product even more. Just like them Burger King, them, um, them fries, the uh, Baconator fries. Yeah. They do not look like courage. They look disgusting when you see them. Oh, like, yeah. I do not want them. <laughs> For real, they look so disgusting. Like, that is not how I look on TV. I'm sorry. Can I get my refund? But that's yeah. how they look. And also with famous people. Famous people are used to sell products. Advertisers also can help a celebrity use a product on television, move on television, a show, or a movie, such as uh, the um, like Kevin Hart got all this new stuff coming out, like the new movie stuff, and then he advertised it, and then boom, you see him with the Gillette commercial, he shaved. You know, goodness, will Kevin Hart don't shave himself. <laughs> No, you can't hardly be shaved. <laughs> he might do sometimes when he at the crib, you know what I'm saying? He got the job yeah. and all the day He had the he shot. He probably has like, what's the meow? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get this right. Then he go to the shop every day. Okay, so George Foreman got this packet out. Have yeah. y'all seen it? What kind of packet? It's a packet, y'all. He already got the George Foreman commercial. Who does he work at those? Mm -hmm. You got to catch the commercial day that night. Okay. You know how you do your own. They call merchants. Girl, when I tell you, the packet is $119. But he helped it, right? Yeah, he helped. Oh, baby, yeah. Barbecue. Um, also, it comes like the food already. It's already packaged and everything for you, girl. Yes, oh, they got woke up. Real bad steaks. Um, no, it's actually, you cook it. Oh. He, but you know, he sees it. He puts it. it all together for you. Girl, I want to try it so bad. And they got the hot dogs wrapped in the bacon. They got the um, cheeseburger with the chicken. That's, oh that's, that's not healthy. That's not healthy. But no, but the way he explained it, you know, George Foreman is like, you know, but I don't think what he was using is like hat and calories and stuff like that. Because he, the commercial to show you how you do it. And I'm like, hmm, I think I'm going to try that. He got the, um, the sausage that tastes like apples or something. Ooh. Yeah. It was like a 36 service. Sausage it was steak. Like it was steak. It was steak. It had some type of um. Well, you know, sausage is high. Some too. type of beef. Mm -hmm. Um, it was um the um, barbecue. It was um the some burgers. Oh my God! He threw in some his own personal macaroni and cheese when he bad. Like it's already vegan and everything. Mm -hmm. I want to try it. I really do. It is good. One hundred nineteen dollars. It's thirty six servings. Now, just know eat all of that stuff every day. You no, gotta, I would. You gotta break it That'll up. be for a cookout. That sounds the like The package so like you, you would use it for a oh, cookout. West? Okay, I got you. Uh, so now we're going to go over a couple of examples of advertising. So we'll start with the easy one first. And I'll put it on the camera so you can see it. It's about to go dead. No, it's uh, I mean, about to <laughs> screen go to sleep. So this is advertising. For Cheerios. So what thing we went over um, family we went family, health uh, sex appeal, humor, appearance fam I mean famous people family. family. So it's like oh I'm, my, I have a happy little four person family and we have a fun time together maybe we should eat Cheerios bam so here's the fun one the sex appeal this is a whole bunch of stuff so, yeah. so there are more than one thing in mm. this advertising. So we have family, health and well-being, uh, sex appeal, humor, appearance, and famous people. Sex appeal. Sex appeal. Appearance. Appearance. And famous people. And famous people. So well, that's Paris Hilton. Because she's the one. Yeah, they had, remember the one they had? And she when the girl, that's Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. You know Hilton Hotel? You just talking about her parents mm -hmm. all those hotels. She's famous. She got lots of money. Cook. It ain't big more white that bird. All the money. And you know when you go get a burger like this, it's not gonna look like she that. She's just holding it. Yeah, she's fake by Yeah. Her. But uh look at that, that sauce face. and all that right. stuff would be dripping That's all over the place. Cool. Uh um, sex appeal, you know, she looked like she was riding on the front of somebody's Two door car. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is how they. This is how they. This is probably most likely to have a man at Harvest. So, yeah. Um, I feel like women who look like that might be a Yeah. 
So they'll think you might find somebody who looks similar to this at parties getting her so, yeah. murdered, which you won't. What is the thing used to market the product? Okay. Advertising can be helpful because it tells people about different products that you can buy. But ads also can get people to buy products that they do not need or cannot afford, or products that appear better than they really are. What can you ask yourself when you are trying to decide on what brand to buy? Like, say if you want to buy some shampoo. Oreos. Oh. Oreos or Oreos. You said what now? If you're going to buy some Oreos, what kind of, what kind of things should go through your head before you, like, put it in the cart and roll up some How much sugar in there? Um, Do I really need this stuff? Yeah. And my dad can we and we the label. Uh, can you get the generic version and still taste good? I'll get the off brand. Yeah. Yeah, it's generic. That, um, yeah. Some, of, some of the off brand do. They break right there with the. Yeah. yeah. It's because you got to pay for those commercials. Don't they just yeah. make you mad? Mm -hmm. You don't like watching commercials, but when you buy Doritos instead of like great value corn chips, mm -hmm. you are essentially paying to but watch commercials. Yeah. But look, when. <laughs> When I buy an all brand cereal, like I mean, I mean on the side of the box to see how many calories in it and stuff, and, and, and how many, and how much sugar. That's good. Mm -hmm. And also yeah. make sure you're eating the right serving size. Yeah. Because remember, if you eat more than one serving size, then you got to double up the number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you ask yourself, do I really need it? Is there a less expensive product that serves the same purpose? Have I compared the product the product's nutrition label with an item that costs less? Am I buying a product because it comes in a nice package? Am I buying the product because the advertisement said it will make me look better or lose, help me lose weight? Am I buying it because I have a coupon and, or because it's on sale? Can I afford it even with a coupon? Or can I wait until this goes on sale? Wait until it goes on sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I So what have y'all learned, um, learned today? How to shop for food. Yes, because I'm How to budget your money. How to um, eat healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how to shop for food. Yeah. 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 So, let me go ahead and fill it out and thank y'all for participating in this class today. I really enjoyed Virginia and Desi coming out. Um, please come back for our next class. We will have a session on follow topics, exercise, blood pressure, and cholesterol. Smoking. And smoking. Thank you.